Coach Simmons here. Just doing a quick recap, man. You know, those two games last night, Fam, you showed heart. I'm going to give Fam credit. They had it 24 35. I know everybody had a little, little hope. They'll pull it out and get the dub. They fought. I think the Jackson State game will be a lot better than people thought, thought it would be, especially if they get some of the players back. But the depth did come into effect. And the depth did cause FAMU to lose that game. Um, they just got tired or choked or, or whatever you want to call it. I, I said they got tired once they got 24-35. Alabama State. That was an ugly game. They, If Howard had any kind of quarterback who could throw the ball to their players and not Alabama State's players, the SWAT will be once again quiet because it lost another SWAT yet challenge. But Alabama State, like I said, they had to win. They had to win. And 20 to 13 is better than that. So later on today, probably tomorrow morning, probably tomorrow morning, I'll be dropping my first of the year um, SWAT power pole. People who remember from last year, I dropped it every weekend. This year, I'm doing the same thing. We'll be dropping the SWAT power pole. Uh, looking forward towards uh, Valley going to Tarleton. And the blueprint's out. Alcorn. Alcorn. The blueprint's out for you right now. Stephen F. Austin. Yes, we understand that Jacksonville State has more players. But even before the players started, started uh, depth started bringing into effect, speeding up the game, Stephen F. Austin does not look like they're in shape. So if Alcorn can speed the game up, they may got a shot at pulling the upset against Stephen F. Austin. Coach Simmons. I will be uh, watching this year. We're going to see just how well the SWAC can really, really step up. I'm out.